caught a serial killer in 2000 when I was a detective. Uh, and he, that's what he was doing, was traveling the interstates, picking up victims and killing them and dumping them. And most of the bodies were never found or he didn't give us legitimate information to find bodies. Or they went to a dump, you know, a garbage dump and were just ground into the ground like everything else. Uh, we did find the one woman that he killed that I got on to him about and another lady that was killed up in uh, Gibson County. It was north of us, of Evansville. Uh, he actually picked her out of the lineup and said that. He called her Slick. That's Slick. And I gave him five pictures, or six pictures to look at. And there was a policewoman and a couple of prostitutes like she was. I thought I'd put a couple of prostitutes in there because that's who he picked up. And then I put my ex-wife in there. No. <laughs> uh, he didn't pick her up, thank you. He needed to tell me where the body parts were because of her family. I needed to find those body parts. And I wanted so bad to find them. And I kept conveying that, pushing that emotion on him. And he finally responded, and he wanted to help me find them too. Because that's what a good person does. And everybody wants to be a good person, don't they? Except for Ted Bundy and people like that. I think even Ted Bundy probably wanted to be admired. So if you could find some way to reach that in him, you could start using that to get a dialogue going with him. There are a lot more serial killers than we think. If they're dumb, they don't get caught. If they're smart, they get caught because they think they can beat us and they try and we get them. Because we have the FBI, right?